All right, this is the November. I'm going to do something a little different with this. So in the past, when I've done the Loot Crate box and the Nerd Block box, um, I've done them in individual videos. Um, this is going to be a slightly longer video because I'm going to do basically a double unboxing. Uh, for gamers, I'm going to dual box. Um, so I've got both the November Loot Crate and the November Nerd Block box. Um, and what I'm going to do is unbox one, go straight into the next one, and then kind of make decisions with everything fresh in mind. Um, now, if you've been keeping score, um, I, I've been subscribed to both services for this will be the third month, and two months in a row, uh, Nerdblock has Nerdblock has won. So I'm going to give privilege to the underdog and hit the loot crate box first. Um, although I'm looking at this, uh, so there's a little note here. Attention looters, this crate is designed differently than any other crate before it. Please read the first page of the magazine to see how. Shit, I have to read. I hate instructions. See, I was the kid, like, on Christmas, I would put the G.I. Joes together without reading the directions. I would try to make the Transformers transform without reading the directions, and I only broke one over, like, ten years of collecting them. Um, I played the video game without reading the instruction manual or the directions, and I'm not even seeing the damn magazine. You mean I have to... Really? Look great? Seriously? No, we're, we're going to dive in here. I'm living dangerously. So... I'm just grabbing in. Uh, the first thing I see, it is a velvet pouch, Assassin's Creed Unity. Hopefully, whatever is inside is more reliable than I've heard the game itself is. Uh, it seems to be some kind of a coin. Let's see here. Liberate, Egalate, Unity, or Egalite. You know, the irony is I have a master's degree in English, and, well, pronunciation is not always my strong suit. So, we seem to have some kind of a replica coin. Cool. Uh, I'm not a big Assassin's Creed fan, but that's that's okay. Um, I need to. I'll probably wait until it goes on sale. I, I never buy AAA games off the release. Um, I always wait until they go down a little bit in price. Uh, so, next up, we have, it looks like... Halo Mega Blocks. Um, look at this, man. I'm actually, you know, again, you have to realize I'm a slightly older nerd. I was, I was doing this before it was cool, but looking at this little case, man, it reminds me of my old Micronauts. Um, it's, it's almost, you know, those of you who are like Gen X nerds, remember the Micronauts? Remember Ferroid? Remember he came in that little like plastic crypt? This is almost kind of reminding me of Ferroid just a little bit. Um, so I'm not sure what we've got inside. It says metallic series figure, but I have my official gonna cut a bitch knife, and I'm gonna make it go to work. Hopefully without cutting me. All right. So of course the question is, how do I open it? Or more appropriately, how do I open it without shit going everywhere? Almost there, almost there, almost there. Oh, something fell. Okay, so it looks like, kind of like the Spider-Man figure, except he's already, like, put together and stuff. So there's something. You know, again, I'm, I'm having a bad nerd moment. Um, I'm not much of a Halo. My, my computer gaming is limited basically to MMOs and RPGs. Um... So, you know, I, I know I'm going to lose, like, a bunch of cred, but FPS games just never did much for me, usually because I got tired of getting my ass kicked by, like, a 10-year-old. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, this, I, I think it's an official Ryu Street Fighter headband. It's, it's looking like that. I see the red, I see the character. Uh, next, we have the Mega Man Mini Helmet Replica. 
And since we have four different ones on the back, see if we can get it to focus in. See, if maybe if I get out of the frame. No, it's not focusing. This cheap, cheap, cheap camera. I'm so spoiled by smartphones. I have to want to like tap the screen. But anyway, uh, so we've got the Mega Man Blue Mega Buster. We've got the Mega Man Gray Bubble Lead. The Mega Man Green Leaf Shield and the Mega Man Red Rush. So the moment of tension as I open the box and see what color I have. I see green. I do indeed. So we have the Mega Man Green Leaf Buster Replica Helmet. Mega Man is one of those franchises I, I loved but I hated. I, I loved the games because they were awesome, but hated them because they were so fucking hard to play. I just, it, it always was an exercise in frustration, killing that first boss to get the weapon that kind of made the everything else fall in Cascade. Um, let's see here. So I see, I see a t-shirt. And we'll kind of do the grand unraveling here. Okay, so I'm looking at it in the camera. I, I think I'm seeing. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, kind of, okay. Cool, psychedelic, pseudo-psychedelic. Uh, Spy, Speed, Shinobi. I'm just looking at some of the different words here. Um, Hook steel, master of the skies. It's it's got a vaguely Jim Steranko feel to it, just without the overwhelming douchebagginess that he's been bringing to the table as of late. So kind of a cool design. I guess I'll have to stand up and hold it in close. So as you can see, it's just one of those things that. You see it from a distance and it's a picture and then you come up close and it's word. It's kind of like the Pussy Predator t-shirt from the last box. <laughs> I get to say that again. Let's see if we've got anything else in this box before I move on. Uh, let me see. Oh, we've got the pin. Uh, the pin. So apparently the theme of the box is battle. And we have my official Loot Crate member card. I'm not sure what that means or what I get, but okay. Uh, let's see here. Um, some sort of a card for 50% oh, off Lichdom Battle Mage. Uh, first person caster that gives the mage the spotlight in a way never before seen in games. Uh, I'll, I'll have to see how much it costs. Sometimes it's something isn't even worth 50% off. I'll, I'll see and I'll get back to you all in the next video. Maybe make a comment. Um, all right. So the t-shirt makes a little sense now. And now, well, god damn. So we had cats last month. Now we're doing pirates versus ninja. Come on, come on, Luke Crate. Which, which, like, which... OOs, I, I still don't know what we're calling that first decade of the new millennium, but which which first decade of the new millennium internet cliche are we going to do next? Um, we did cats, we're doing pirates versus ninjas, you know, what's what's next? Come on, guys, step it up. Uh, ooh, well, I have the Street Fighter IV Arcade Edition, full game download, okay, uh, it's on Steam. And uh, we'll uh, cover up the code. So it's actually not bad. Um, I think I may have that in my library, but I, I might gift that to someone. I know one of several people. And here we have all the way down at the bottom um, the the crate that is not like any others. Oh, I see what they did there. So it looks like the whole idea of the crate it turns into a little battle arena. Um, the crate was designed with the intent of taking photos of your own epic battles. Uh, visit lootcrate.com slash battle crate instructions for more info. Okay, now I now I see why they 
why they did what they did. Probably should have put the magazine at the top, guys. Um, uh, okay, now I get it. All right. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like we've got Ryu and Mega Man cutouts, so we can make our own. We can make our own scene. Um, so inside, yeah, uh, like I figured, uh, there was the headband, uh, Halo drop ship minifigure, Mega Box, um, Mega Man mini helmet, um, Assassin's Creed for Unity coin with a velvet pouch, the Pirates vs. Ninja shirt, and of course the obligatory page of stuff that we can buy directly from Loot Crate. Um, not bad. Uh, the, the the little horror box from last month uh, kind of left the bar a little low, not necessarily in a bad way, but a little better, something a little more in sync with stuff that I'm into. So, let's see. God, I have such a messy desk. I'll just kind of put that over right there. And so I have this face down. So there is no way that I can see the packing label and the... Uh, okay, there we go. I can't see the customs form, so I actually know what's in this. So we'll crack this open. And let's see what is in the November Nerd Block. And God, I'm just going to randomly grab for something. I see a plastic bag. And. Plush Dick, Grayson that is. Uh, we have a little soft toy Robin. At least it uh, appears to be. My God, it's not soft. I have to hold this up close. This is. You guys remember airplane? Remember the autopilot? Remember when the autopilot and the stewardess flew off at the end? Am am I not? Looking at like, look at the face. Look at everything else. This is this is almost creepy. It's it's cool, but at the same time, my my first thought was, my God, it's auto the autopilot. Um, but it's not. It's a Robin plush toy. Uh, let's see what it says here. Batman the classic TV series. Ha, I was right. It is a dick, Grayson. Uh, seven inch bleacher creature, Junior. So. Yeah, I, I might put him at my desk. So, you know, when I was when I was growing up, um, the the Batman, the '60s Batman TV series was in syndication, and I would watch it almost every new uh, every afternoon on WXON back in Detroit. Um, until my mother decided Batman may have been a little too violent, so there's like a a two week Batman moratorium until the other House Frows in Kings Point talked her out of it, and I was allowed to watch it again. So. Dick Grayson will always be my Robin. Burt Ward will always be my Robin. So this is this is kind of a cool toy. Uh, let's see. So I'm just gonna grab the next random thing, and the next random thing is a box, and the box has tape. That of course means I need to bring out my official cut a bitch knife, and I need to find a blade in my official cut a bitch knife, and. I am cutting the tape. There we go. And opening the box. And it's a coffee mug. Coffee mugs are oh, 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 it is an Iron Man coffee mug. Oh, it is a Bronze Age Iron Man coffee cup. Oh, fuck yes. I am liking this this is awesome um again we've got the classic iron man armor from the late 60s uh, from the mid to late 60s and the 70s right up until um right up until 200 when he started wearing the silver centurion suit so this this again I'm digging this. So, so far, so good. Nerdlock, you are you you are feeling me and like not in a creepy Catholic priest way either. 
Let's see here. So what's next? What's next? I'm just going to grab in the box. I'm going to pull something. Ah. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Um, so this is a slap watch. I don't know. Let's see here. I can take it out. I own this. And the whole point is to, like, you know, have stuff to interact with. I, I'm not one of these... I'm not one of these, like, nerdy collectors who, you know, gets stuff and then keeps it forever enshrined. Let's see if we can find... I almost want to say it's like a Mario design. It's really hard to get without glare. There we go. So, I'm digging it. And hopefully... I'm going to dig away. Oh, okay. It's just like a little, oh, it's kind of like an otter box. So to take it out, the rubber just kind of fits around and I can set the time that way. Okay. Uh, third block. This, this is, this, this, well, okay. If I can make it fit. There we go. I'm digging this. Slap watch. Um, doesn't look like it's specifically character branded, but anyway, uh, so it looks like not quite the last thing, but the t-shirt. And all the shirts I wish I already saw. Um, last month, Nerd Block blew out Pussy Predator with the Jay and Silent Bob, and it looks like they are once again going to blow out. Okay, seriously, all I can say is this. Pirates versus Ninjas. Pirates and Ninjas versus Deadpool. I think we know who's going to fucking win every single time. And, well... You know, in terms of the t-shirt, it's absolutely no different. This this is 500 shades of awesome. Um, Deadpool as the king, um, a playing card. Absolutely, absolutely awesome. I am, oh, nerd block, I am loving you. And, well, it's, it's not to say that I don't love you either, uh, Loot Crate, but... Nerdblock is kind of the Marsha, and Loot Crate, you're kind of becoming the Jan, and I, I hope by saying that, you're not going to become, like, you know, crazy and neurotic on me. Uh, other things, it looks like we are reaching the bottom of the box here. Dig, 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 dig. Um, let's see here. So I have extra, extra, spoiler alert. Uh, we're so excited. We want to let you know in advance. Check out what we've got coming in the block next month. Clip, flip the card for more. Uh, let's see here. This December, every subscriber is guaranteed an autographed Willow print by Warwick Davis or Val Kilmer. Now, okay, that's that's cool. Willow, Willow unfortunately, was one of those franchises that should have taken legs but never did. Um, you know, if... if Willow was produced now, 2014. They'd at least have the obligatory trilogy with multiple spin-offs done. Um, sadly, you know, it, was, it was a good film that they just never got sequelitis for, so this might be kind of cool. Uh, just depends on what the print is. Let's see here. So... Ah, okay, so I'm reading the card. Um, yeah, we've got the Batman plus Troy... The Iron Man mug, the Nerd Block Slap Watch, which is Super Mario Brothers inspired. Um, the t shirt. And finally, the Boba Fett fan wraps. Um, I, I gotta say it uh, again, a couple of you watching this, I'm, I'm probably gonna lose some major nerd cred, but I. I was never a Boba Fett guy. I always thought he was a little overrated. Um, I kind of, when I was watching the prequels, I, I vomited a little inside my mouth when his father, and of course he by proxy, showed up in episode two. Um, just one of those characters. Never saw the appeal of. Maybe that's because he took my fucking hero, Han Solo, and put him in carbonite and completely fucked over Princess Leia. Although I do have to admit that does <laughs> that that does great uh, that did did give us one of the greatest scenes in cinema. Um, you know, she blurts out "I love you" and he just looks up and says "I know." Mm. 
my, my partners wonder why I'm such an arrogant, narcissistic ass, and, you know, if they just watched the media that shaped me and made me who, who I am, they would totally get it. But anyway, um, so, God, um, Loot Crate, Jan, Baby, I'm sorry, but Nerd Block wins again. Um, it's, it's not to say that some of the stuff in the box wasn't cool, uh, but... I'm going to wear the Deadpool shirt before I'm going to put on the Pirates and the Ninjas, if only because, A, I'm going to have to explain, ha, ah, Pirates and Ninjas, and B, I'm going to have to field the question, why are you wearing around a net meme that was popular in 2005? Um, so, yeah, you, you haven't lost me as a business, you know, as a customer, the subscription is still good, but... Third block, I'm, I'm digging you guys. Stay cool, stay awesome, and I am so itching to see what you both have lined up for me in December.